Tauruses, hello and welcome to your reading for May 20th through the 26th. And we have the sun moving from zero to six degrees Gemini. And for Tauruses, this is happening in your second house. So you're starting to see new ways that you could generate income, that trump and triumph over all it is that you've already done, which I would say you guys are really taking strides with um, Pluto moving through your 10th house. Um, you guys are having to defend Pua. You guys have the capacity to defend what it is that you've been building because you're a leading voice. You are someone who's been doing this work. You've been pushing um, the limits of what is even possible. And now you're starting to see ways that it unfolds into society with a greater view. Um, we're going to have a, a very powerful transit with the moon going full moon at three degrees Sagittarius this week. And it's going to put into, I think, the hands of our, um, well, yeah, because the earth is m moving into Sagittarius. So it's going to put into the hands of um, our higher education, our peers that we are esteemed with. Um, some new roots, some new germinations, some new plans and plots to move forward. Dumavati. So this is someone who sees, I think her gaze is very penetrating. Um, this card is like so powerful, it almost scared me um, at a time. So her gaze is penetrating and you see into the future. You see, um, I think this wisdom that is guiding you is very much um, abundant. Let's look at the orange in that. And then it's very feminine, passion for purpose. So the moon will be in Libra, and that is you all's um, sixth house. So you're gonna get, I think, some really clear insights as to where, what you're manifesting is going, and who is actually on board to take things with you to the next level. Um, we have Mars at 15 degrees that day, and I feel that this is a relevant um, number because it's just saying that spiritually you guys are going to be more open to what is streaming through your awareness and um, I think you'll have very active ways like you guys have new healthy habits that are really rewarding you with these higher states of consciousness just in a run um, after the run you know when you're in that euphoric state and the oxytocin and adrenaline is pumping through your veins you're getting the ideas you're getting the intel and on Mars Day um, we'll have Mars at 15 degrees and Mercury at 7 degrees Taurus. So again, communicating our spiritual insights. Um, Kuru Kala, wow. Getting into nature and really, I think having the aim high, it's going to push us to the front of the line, Taurus. And it's going to make sure that we are getting the growth where we would like for it to be and that is going to just draw more people to us it's going to affirm the generosity that you guys have the work that you've been doing and that in itself is going to just prove to you a lot of things that will be on your day-to-day -day radar for what you can get done every day um what's dropping out of your day-to-day -day life is a sense that you have to be everyone's favorite sacred union. You're forming bonds with people who see you for who you are and they accept you wholeheartedly. And this is feeling really sacred. It's allowing for your day-to-day -day life to just wear conviction of like, hey, this is who I am. This is what, what I belong doing. This is what I'm open to expressing. And through doing that, again, the genius insights, the bigger plots to increase and improve and expand and streamline your work is coming into the fore. Um, we're coming out of a very sweet weekend with the sun conjuncting, having conjuncted Jupiter and now moving to the sun at zero degrees on Tuesday. So it looks like Monday. Well, let me go back a day. Yeah, we're going to be, um, I believe, extremely inclined to step into a sense of like abundance forecasting gratitude but then also um connecting to what is possible when we just put a little bit more of ourself into 
um, how we would like to generate income and wealth and prosperity because the lessons have to be learned and they have to play out. And if we are in alignment with our heart and just giving it the voice that it needs, giving our well-being consideration more so than just like surface level material goods, um, having uh, nice things, but our identity has to feel like it belongs being truthful, truthfully expressed. Um, I think that we're going to get knocked down Taurus, wherever we haven't been that, wherever we haven't been truthful on Mars Day, it's going to push out to the surface where we need to be more truthful and honest with our expression, with ourselves, because we're going to only get support as much as we're willing to express that. So Mercury Day, Mercury at 9 degrees Taurus this week, it's moving from 6 degrees to 17 degrees Taurus. So we get, gain a lot of knowledge and um, I would say... We're coasting through a lot of the noise that might be starting to rise up with people really interested in what we're doing and how long we've been working on it. A lot of invitations might roll through. The moon will be in Scorpio at 17 degrees on Wednesday where I'm looking at it. And in this um, second decan to third decan over the course of the day with Scorpio, for Tauruses, we are looking at um, our relationships and how we belong expressing this passion that we have for what it is that we've been working on and what it is that we're building. And we're just minding our P's and Q's socially and we're connecting with people who allow for us to bring out this richness in what we've been exploring and working on and building. Sun at one degrees, Gemini is going to make sure that we feel like a sense of optimism and positivity coming from the people that we're sharing our ideas with. Otherwise, that's where the boundaries belong. That's where we belong taking a step back from maybe sharing what it is that we're working on, the results of it. Maybe we belong blasting those things. Dance of the Divine Feminine. The feminine needs to be witnessed. That is what being feminine is. It's being witnessed. And we do need attention, Taurus. We want that attention. We want the press. If people are raising questions about our authority, um, you guys have... Um, boundaries around your authority that will be brought to the surface of how much do you believe in yourself? How much is your message going to go far because of the self-belief, because of who you are in the moment and how you allow for yourself to either generate um, more information through being open or how you limit it by closing off to being an authority of your belief. So you're going to come across a queen of water. Um, this might be a romance, um, a romantic encounter come Mercury Day, come Wednesday. Um, Mercury will be at 9 degrees Taurus with Mars at 16 degrees Taurus. So if anything comes in, it's very destined and faded. You will feel the heart current. It's going to be undeniable and unavoidable, unescapable. Just enjoy it. Jupiter day on um, the sun at 2 degrees Gemini. Jupiter will move to 29 degrees Taurus. Uh, with Neptune at 29 degrees Pisces and Saturn there, we're, we're going to have to be... Um, mindful of the rewards coming in, of the answers coming in. Um, just take what people are saying. Like, you know, when someone shows you who they are, it's up to you to really stick with that and allow for that to be what guides your decisions to collaborate, to take things to the next level. Um, Tauruses are very sensitive. And with the earth in Sagittarius, I think that um, publication is something that's coming up. It's like you guys are getting your messages out there because of your belief in yourself. And the full moon will bring to the surface anywhere that you haven't been authentic, you haven't loved your expression, you haven't had the proper boundaries around your convictions and what it is that you know. Um, and then let's look at this. So yeah, your uh, social status is going to, I think, bring you into really rooms with really powerful people even if you're on like online um you're gonna have people who've been doing the work who've been showing up to um, get the the intel that they need and i feel this is what i feel the kundalini moves through our system at, at specific times so you might have been waking up really early like 4 a.m over the past month because the sun went through your sign and you have a lot of activity in the 12th house 
I feel like that is the time where you have to be doing the writing. You have to be sitting for your meditations and it will show. It will revolutionize how you appear when people come across your information. It's going to stand out for those reasons. Cool. And then come Venus Day. Venus at zero degrees Gemini. I think that this is ushering in a lot of confidence around your reputation, how things are growing for you. Um, we're going to have our heart on the prize and you guys have a lot of arrows at the beginning of your reading. So it's like exchanging messages, exchanging information, getting the target, getting precision. You're going to be hearing back from people quickly. And I would say that um, if you don't have something to ground yourself, like a daily walk of mantra, chant, um, find something and try something new. I, I do believe that Gemini is, um, you know, what's what the buzz is, what's trending. And we could try out new things because as the um, as we're moving through various, um, like the plasma belt, I think Sandra Walters said we're moving through now, we need to attune and dial in the outer aspects of our auric field. We need to tune and um, align ourselves in new ways that we haven't tried. So like basketball, for whatever reason, is coming up. If that's a sport that you feel ready to try, I would say that um, with Saturn at a net nine, we're deciding that we love ourselves and we're we're going to give ourselves room to, be, to have as much um, time doing something that might feel really silly and engaging and activating because that will generate movement in our coordination, in our in our strut. Don't go out and get injured by trying something that you're not really safe, feeling safe with, but you're going to be showing up as a star. And I think with Taurus is having a forgiving, um, playful energy, that divine feminine who comes in for you or that romantic interest is going to accept you fully for who you are from this place of you having this very angelic approach to yourself, very playful, humorous. Um, you're dancing, you're moving, you're shaking it. We love to see it, Taurus. It's something that we don't see because you guys have been dealing with a lot of spiritual um, issues coming to the surface with the activation of your 12th house recently. And then your social groups, again, they will be um, bringing you people who can match your energy, who can have as much fun with you as you're having with your process, with the work you're putting out there. And on Saturday, the moon does cross the galactic center and that's going to be um, with the sun at four degrees Gemini. So we're going to feel convinced that we need to um, move forward with whatever it is that we're working on. Like if there are new projects that we're forming with people, if um, there are new areas of growth in our projects that we are doing, we're, we're doubling down on the research. We're getting into um, making sure that we're up to date. Um, if any information that's coming through is, let's see, where the South Node, in your day-to-day -day life. So relationships of like people changing roles, changing opportunities. I know, I know. I think this speaks to cycles. Like, you know, when someone is fulfilling their soul mission or they're just doing a job and those things are fine. We just need to make sure that we are with a team that can move forward with us at the rate and pace we're going at Taurus because I think you guys are on a train with like no brakes. You guys are really, riding this wave, riding the impulse, and this is freeing you up. This is freeing you up to express yourself and to be more confident in your comfort, in your sense of self, in your sense of authenticity. And again, this is bringing you more opportunities, more prosperity, more abundance. I sense maybe international deals. People are wanting to get you published in different languages. Like there is a spreading of who you have become through these trials of your previous years for the people coming out of their Saturn returns, just know that you're going to get a lot of, um, you're going to get a lot of people coming towards you who reflect to you this devotion and this spiritual finesse that you guys have been really leading the charge on. And it's going to feel rewarding. You're going to feel like you're in the right rooms with the right people. So with the sun, Sunday, five degrees Gemini, I, th I sense that you guys are going to come into a really happy um, energy because maybe the week ahead you have some bookings that you're looking forward to. Um, you have some people who you're looking forward to sitting around a table with and discussing next steps. It's going to feel really good. And the moon in Capricorn that is in you all's ninth house. So again, you guys are 
grounding boundaries around your sense of authority, around your agency to make these deals, to make these next steps that feel like mastery. They feel like the, you know, the golf swing where you are so focused on the end state that every single step you take is in synchronicity and perfect alignment with getting you there. So Tauruses, have a fabulous week. Keep me posted in the comment, comments for what's going on for you, how you guys are making moves in the world, and what it's looking like. So I'm sure it looks fabulous. Aloha.